at and switching gears now the first Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans since 2020 will roll this weekend. The crew of Nefertiti is a big deal for New Orleans East with organizers saying it is time for some positivity in the area amid the crime and the pandemic. So before being sent to that breaking news story, WDSU's Shay O'Connor found out what residents can expect to see. It will help with the community because they have so much of violence and we're dealing with COVID and that'll be something positive to, for the community. Community members welcoming the crew of Nefertiti back to New Orleans East after a year long hiatus amid the COVID-19 pandemic. I feel motivated. I feel that it's time for the East to come back. We have so much to offer. Liz Bournes owns All About You Hair and Nail Salon just near the route of the parade and says events like this one remind people about the small businesses in New Orleans East. We need the camaraderie. We need the excitement. You know, we need our kids to be able to focus on just having fun instead of everything that's going on. And then for the business owners, we need that also because to let people know that we are out here in the East and that we're, we're thriving. The all-female crew hit the streets of New Orleans East for their first parade back in 2020 making crew of Nefertiti the first float parade in New Orleans East since the early 90s. Because we didn't get the definite no in 2021, we had already kind of started selecting everything. Once we got the OK, it was just putting everything in place. This year's theme, Too Legit to Quit, paying homage to 90s music. Captain President Zena Smith says specifically New Orleans music of the 90s. Our music um, bounce, it was kind of like the era of the birth of bounce music. So you're going to hear a lot of that and you're going to see a lot of throwback styles. Uniquely New Orleans from the styles to the throws. Organizers encouraging residents to mask up and distance during the parade, but to be prepared to let the good times roll safely and peacefully. My concern is just for the people to get out here and enjoy themselves safely and we will have tons of security out here. Um, you know, different agencies are going to be working with us Sunday to procure everyone's safety. Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Well, and on your screen right now is the route for Nefertiti this Sunday. So take a look at this map. The parade will take it starts on Bullard Avenue there and it travels down Lake Forest and it goes south down Reed Boulevard until hitting Chef Mentor, where it will make a U turn back up to Reed, ending right across Joe Brown Park. The parade is Sunday at 1 p.m.